Hello, welcome. Hi, I'm Ann Casero, realtor in Phoenix, Arizona, the Valley of the Sun. Today we're talking about you moving with your children and what do you do about the schools? Yes, you're wondering. Okay, realtor, tell me, where are the good neighborhoods? Where are the good schools? Get me some place with the highest rated schools, right? That's what you've been told. Now I'm an educator, was, now I'm a realtor, but 20 years in the classroom, I have a master's in educational leadership, and I'm gonna kind of debunk that theory that we're gonna look for the highest rated schools, no. What we really need to do is focus on your kids, your family, what is best for them. So these ratings, it's kind of like, uh, Investments, right? Mutual funds, EFTs, they say past performance is not indicative or a guarantee of future performance. Same thing, all right? Those ratings on the schools, maybe from last year, the year before, maybe they did a real big push on getting those ratings, and then things change. The whole programs can be gone. And with, with schools, one admin team comes in, another admin team goes out, uh, another superintendent comes in, new board members. Notice how my hands are going back and forth. Okay, so there's a saying in education, and that's that the pendulum swings. And when it swings, it goes the other way. Comes back, swings the other way. Kind of like in business, when one company gets bought out by another company and they get cannibalized, or you get an admin that comes in and thinks, oh, I'm gonna make a name for myself here. I'm gonna up these ratings, these scores, right? especially if they're a realtor wanting to get their property uh, property values to go up. <laughs> One time uh, I was at a school and we paid the big bucks for a consultant to come in. He told us, okay, so we're gonna work on these ratings. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all the test scores of all your students. And you're gonna look for the kids who are right be below the line. And if you just give them a little nudge, they can jump up to the next level and you'll get the biggest bang out of out of that on the ratings. So these kids that are down here in the middle, like they're between basic or below basic and they're somewhere in the middle, throughout the whole year, there's no way you can get them up to the next level because, hey, the next test is gonna be harder too. So sure, they're gonna learn, but will they get up to the next level? Will they jump? It's sad, it's true, it's what they do. It's what the big bucks tell you to do. Let's get those ratings up. So, all right, let's forget about ratings. Let's talk about your kids. Kids are what are important. All right, students, 6C, when they feel comfortable, can see themselves fitting in. All right, they need to go to the school to find this out. When they feel connected, they feel and see that people care here at that school, right? When they feel challenged, they may not say they want to be challenged, but with supportive guidance, they do want to be challenged, all right? Student buy-in is imperative. Buy-in is achieved through physically touring the school with your children. That's the way to do it. So your job in this move is first of all, figure out, you know, you're coming to this area, right? Where is your work going to be? Map that out. How far of a range around that can we look for schools? Okay, there'll be private schools, public schools, charter schools, any number of schools. Let's get the appointments to go out to those schools. All right, you take out your kids there. If they're older kids, then they'll probably go off with an old, another student to tour while you sit down with the admin and you ask questions. I've got a document below here in the comments that you can download with a whole lot of questions. You'll be interested. You wanna know what kind of discipline there is. You wanna know if there's peer help, like peer mediation and discipline, peer guidance, is there a guidance program, you know, for college? <laughs> because some of those get wiped out. I saw in one, we had two full-time guidance counselors and a whole guidance library cut. Right. Oh, very sad. All right, you want to know arts, athletics, STEM program, MESA program. These are arts, or science and mathematics programs. What is your kid interested in? And what kind of support might they need? You have a lot of questions. 
and they need to be part of this. They need that buy-in. They need you need to work together. Right? Think of it as the college kind of thing. When a teenager is making college applications, the parents are super excited. They're planning on these trips, taking the kids. We're going to go on the college tour. We're going to go here first, and then we're going to go there. Da, 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 da. Same thing with this move. Think of it like that. You want to really enjoy the process with your kids. Get them involved. Focus on them. Focus on a positive transition in this move. They will love and respect you forever for it. I'll be here to guide you. Go down below, download my list of, of informative questions, leave a comment, all right, subscribe. I look forward to it. Thank you. Bye-bye.